Well, first of all, I'd like to extend my deepest gratitude to our British colleagues for hosting Y8 Summit. It was a real pleasure to be here in London to address major challenges in the area of global economy, global politics, and of course security challenges. I'd like to say that around the globe many politicians, especially in my country, in the Russian Federation, tend to outline the fact that G8 nations currently are facing many challenges in the area of global economy, in the area of security. And we had a very great opportunity here with my colleagues from all over the world to speak about this. And of course we had an opportunity to provide some novel solutions on how to provide more stability, how to provide more stable global economic political system. Uh, I'd like to outline the fact that uh, it was my initiative and initiative of my colleague from the United States of America to suggest to have a special peacekeeping committee for Syria, a uh, peacekeeping committee uh, led by the Russian Federation and the United States of America. And the second our novel suggestion was to provide a special corridor, a special security zone to promote stability in Syria. We outlined the necessity to find a new design for global financial organizations, primarily IMF and World Bank. It was very important for us to reach consensus with European colleagues and American colleagues. We outlined the necessity to promote the reform of IMF quota to represent financial forces of the country to make their formula more representative. And also we outlined the necessity to avoid some regional or national principle in choosing IMF and World Bank management. I consider it extremely important to outline our suggestion in the context of credit rating agencies reform. We outline the necessity to create a special monitoring committee within the Financial Stability Board to control, to provide a monitoring of the modern credit rating agencies. I'd like to say that many of our respective nations are facing challenges in the context of credit rating agencies functioning and it was very interesting and important for us to outline the necessity of the structural reform of global rating agencies.